Hey guys, one of the tools that we use occasionally at SoulFit is taping. Now we don't use it very often, but when we do use it, it tends to work really, really well. And we've had a lot of our patients asking about how they can do it at home. So we thought we'd put this little video together to show you how. Um, now, first of all, there's lots of different types of tape. There's lots of different types of taping methods. And for today, we're really just looking at something pretty simple. Um, and the purpose for this tape is to basically duplicate the idea of an arch support. So if we have a patient coming in with plantar fasciitis, tibialis posterior issues, or really any issue in the lower leg, this is maybe where we want to use this type of taping. Anything that you'd normally be putting an arch support in for. Now, especially for those who maybe have a competition coming up or they're going away on a big trip where they, they may not get used to an arch support quick enough, this tape job can be very, very, very handy. So let's take a look at how we do it. Okay guys, so the one, the one downside to this type of taping is you, you really need two people to do it. You need someone else to put the tape on for you. So if you're applying the tape to somebody else, you wanna have them lying face down on a bed or on the edge of a table, and you want their foot at 90 degrees off the side, and you want the foot to be nice and relaxed. Now I've pre-cut these pieces just to make it a little bit easier for me, but obviously you can use any kind of tape to do this. So the first piece of tape we're gonna put on is a brace piece, and that sits right across the metatarsals. So basically those knuckles of the base of your toes. And this is a brace piece of tape. So basically what we're doing with this piece is we're just providing some, uh, some adhesion for the other pieces of tape that we're gonna be putting on afterwards. So I usually double this up just to make it a little bit more secure. So I'll put two pieces here. Now I don't have the tape go all the way around the foot just because oftentimes when they stand, there's what we call tissue expansion where the, the foot expands and the tissues expand a little bit. So I don't want it to cut across the top. So once we have those two brace pieces on, again, I've pre-cut, but we want to attach one of the sides right at the base of the big toe. So on that first metatarsal, and then we want to hold this tape fairly tight from here to the heel. So it's not wrapped up against the arch. It sits tight through there. Cross it around the heel and then attach it again down at the base of the toe. And you can just rip off any excess. Okay, and this is the same thing. I'll usually double this up. So I'll usually put two pieces here. Basically what this is providing here is gonna be the arch support. So we're gonna put a couple pieces on right now that hold this up against the arch. So that's basically what's providing the, uh, the arch support. So I'm gonna cut a couple of little pieces here. And then these pieces, you wanna be fairly tight. You wanna hold them against the bottom of the foot and you wanna hold this piece here right up against the arch. So that's what's gonna be providing the arch support when the, uh, when the person stands up. And then once we've got all the bottom of the foot filled up with tape, so again, we've held that brace piece here up against the arch. I'll have the person stand up. Uh, we just wanna make sure that all those pieces are stuck to the top of the foot. And they'll usually just put a couple pieces across the top to make sure the tape stays on for a little bit. And typically with taping, you know, depending on what tape you use, we only expect this to probably last for, you know, potentially hours or maybe a day or two, really until you take your first shower or bath. And it's not meant to be really a long-term tool, but it's meant to give some short-term relief and um, again, get someone through a big trip or, uh, or a major competition. And you can find any kind of tape at a drugstore. The, um, the fabric tapes tend to work the best. This is a paper tape, which is a little bit easier for, uh, for tearing, but uh, it certainly doesn't tend to last as long, but they all give the same effect. So there we go.